Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we are going to be budgeting my paycheck number two for the month of February. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe below. I hope you all are having a super fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening. So the first thing I want to do is do show you that I do reconcile how I do my paycheck budgets on paper. I typically don't record that or anything. It's just as everything is paid out, I go in and mark in those values on my budget here. Um, so let me get this turned so that way I can just work with the one and the coil is not so uh, obtrusive in my way. <laughs> Whichever word you want to insert there. So, on the 15th, I'll be paid $2,672.42. Um, if you knew and you don't know this, I am a salaried employee. I get paid twice a month on the last business day of the month and on the 15th of the month. The last paycheck of the month or the last business day of the month is my first paycheck for the next month. And then the 15th is my last paycheck of the month. So... Hopefully that explains everything. This rarely ever changes unless something didn't get taken out or my health insurance changes or I get some kind of bonus or reimbursement or something like that. So let me turn this just a little bit. For my sons, I am budgeting $60. This is an automatic withdrawal that's taken out by the credit union. I've had this set up since I started working at the company. So that just goes into each of their savings accounts. Now for my health insurance. I just forgot how much my health insurance costs. <laughs> I just forgot. I don't know how much this is or this. But let's flip that over and see. So $13.42 and $3.48. So we're going to go ahead and write that down because I will forget again while I'm talking. <laughs> So $13.42 is for health, $3.48 is my identity theft, and this is going to be taken out of my check on the 15th. And what I have here is just health, but that's actually my health, my dental, and my vision. Um, and the same for my identity theft. Both of these are just automatic transactions that I have set up with the company and through our insurance provider. So car insurance, I am going to estimate or budget that to be $95. Um, and that is due on the 28th. MLGW, which it stands for Memphis Light Gas and Water. They are typically due the 27th or the 28th. I'm going to put the 28th. Um, I'm going to go up to 300 this month for my utilities. Um, I was watching the news, so I heard another cold snap is going to be coming. So just go ahead and prepare myself for that. Um, Sprint. Sprint normally comes out around the 17th or the 18th, and I'm going to estimate, I'm going to roll up to 75 for that. Um, Xfinity has gone up to, I think, 111, but I'm going to go ahead and budget 112. I don't know why that sound Cupid just went off in my head, but, um... Xfinity is due, I believe that one's definitely the 18th. Uh, gas for my car, I'm going to estimate $40. And this helps like when I do have to go into the office. I know I have, my PC needs to be refreshed. So I have a new laptop come in and it will take me about three days to get all my software so I can actually work. <laughs> Why they don't load all the stuff that we need on there, I have no idea. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is subtract all of these expenses from my income. 
and that's going to give me what my snowball is going to be for Fetlon Q16. So let's look at that. So it's 2672.46 minus 60 minus 13.42 minus $3.48 minus $95, minus $300, minus $75, minus $112, minus $40. So I have $1973.56. I'm going to do that one more time just to make sure I got this right. Seventy-three fifty-six. Okay, so that'll be a nice payment going on to that one. It definitely moved me out of the, I think, that should move me into the 5000 or maybe below that. I can't remember how much I owe on that loan. I wanna stop guessing. <laughs> oh, look, I didn't even write down the starting balance. So I feel like it was 67 and I made a payment the other day, which was 60, which was $600. So that's like 61. So that'll definitely move me into the 4000 range. So below 5000, so that's good. That's good, I'm super excited about that. I always feel like I can do it once I see it get to lower than 5,000. That's um, a nice number for me. So I'm going to add all these up and make sure it equals my income. So just one more time 1342, 348, 95, plus 300, plus 75, plus 112, plus 40. Plus one nine seven three point five six twenty six seventy two forty six, and I would be so glad when I'm done paying off that. It would be so nice to see that money going into my savings. Twenty six seventy two point four six, or some other venture, you know, outside of it just going to my debt. That'd be nice. I don't have a due date on this. Um, because we don't have payments coming out. So I would just schedule this so that way I can put up another pay debt for me video. And y'all can see me take care of that loan. So yes, I'm gonna be so, so happy dropping that money. And hurry up, get this stuff done, y'all, because I'm tired. And plus I believe this is going to be a good year and a good year for all of us you know not just for myself but thank y'all so much for watching the video and all of your support i appreciate you all so much if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel please do so and i will talk to y'all later y'all have a wonderful day peace and blessings bye